um, for this video, we will be discussing uh, maxima and minima. So, maxima and minima, so those are the points, okay? So, in our curve, where uh, there is a change in the change in the trend of the, the graph from increasing to decreasing or from de uh, decreasing to increasing, okay? Say, for example, so we have this graph of y as a function of x. So, so let's say our curve looks like this. Okay? And then say this is y is a function of x. Okay? So, obviously, as you can see in the, in the graph, so we can uh, directly observe that uh, we have two points where the trend of the curve changes. So, this one and this one. Okay? So, so as we go from left to right, so as you can see, so at this point, so there is a change from increasing and then decreasing. Also, in this point, so from decreasing trend to increasing trend. So, those are called our maxima and minima. Okay? Or our um, critical points. Okay? So, uh, one of our... Uh, tasks is to find those points okay so to find those points uh, we will be using differential calculus so as uh, we have discussed in the previous videos that the derivative describes the slope of the tangent line okay at a curve okay so at the local maxima and minima so the the slope of the tangents Okay, or the tangent lines are horizontal. Okay? So, the tangents are horizontal. So, what does that mean? So, it means that the derivative, okay, at these points, okay, the derivatives are 0. Okay? So, at... So, at local, maxima, and minima, dy over dx is equal to 0. Okay? So, basically, all we need to do to find the maximum and the minimum points, the local, maximum, and minimum points, is to set the derivative to 0. Okay? So, but uh, in doing so, so, we will not be certain if uh, what we solved is the maxima or the minima, you know, without graphing it. So, what we can do is, we can use the second derivative test. Okay. So, the second derivative, that is, uh, it's a physical... Uh, interpretation is that it is the, the rate of change of slope. Okay. So, how does our slope changes? Okay. So, if you observe from the maximum point, you know, going, uh, going from left to the right. So, as we go to the right, okay, you can see that the tangent line we have uh, several tangent lines, okay? And then here, so we have another tangent line, okay? So, as we go from left to right, so you will notice that the slope decreases, okay? So, from zero, so it's it decreases because it's inclined from, inclined downwards from left to right. So, therefore, its slope is negative, okay? So, if the second derivative is the rate of change of the slope, then the second derivative will be uh, negative if it's a maximum point. Okay? So, that's how second derivative test works. Okay? So, if the second derivative, so if d squared y over dx squared is less than 0, Okay, then it is maxima. Okay. So, similarly, 
So if we start from the minima going to the right, okay. So as you can see, the slope of the tangent line increases. So it increases because it is, um, it is inclined upwards from left to right. Okay. So if d squared y over dx squared is greater than zero, then it's a minimum point. Okay? So, uh, that's how you determine if it's a, a maximum or minimum point, okay, by doing the second derivative test. Okay? So, we can do this without graphing, okay, the function. So, you can identify the maximum and the minimum points without uh, graphing the function. So, that's uh, the beauty of uh, differential calculus. So, let's try to apply that on some problems. Okay, so, let's uh, have this first example. So, locate the critical points and determine whether uh, those points uh, is a maxima or a minima. So, example number one. So, we have y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 20. So, we will do this without graphing. So, we, we will uh, just uh, use differential calculus. So, to locate the critical points, okay, set the derivative to 0. Okay, so first find the derivative of this. So, you have y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 20. Okay, so derive, deriving dy over dx is equal to, it's a derivative of x cubed, so that would be 3x raised to 3 minus 1, so 3x squared minus 3 multiplied by the derivative of x squared, that is 2x minus 9, derivative of x with respect to x is 1, plus derivative of a constant, 20 we have 0. Okay. So, uh, equating this to 0, but first let us simplify. So, we have 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. So, that is equal to 0. So, using this, so we will now find the, we will now solve for the value of x. Okay. Where the x will now be the, will now correspond to the uh, x coordinate of the maximum or the minimum point, but we don't know yet. Okay, until we, uh, until we perform the second derivative test. Okay, so to solve for x, so as you can see, we have a greatest common factor of three. So we can just divide both sides by three. So divide this also by three. So three x squared divided by three that is x squared. Six divided by three that's minus two x. 9 divided by 3, so that's minus 3 is equal to 0. So, solving for the roots, uh, we can solve this using factoring. So, no need for a quadratic formula or whatever. So, we have factor negative 3 such that the sum of the factors is um, negative 2. So, we will have positive 1 and negative 3. So, therefore, x plus 1, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, equating the factors to 0, so we'll have x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 3. Okay? So, if we already have the points, now we can also solve for y. So, using this. Okay? But, first, let us determine if uh, it's a maximum or a minimum point. So, using the second derivative test. So, uh, perform the second derivative of this. So, we have, so rewriting, so we have dy over dx is equal to so, we have 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. Okay. 
So, getting its second derivative, so d squared y over dx squared is equal to 3 times derivative of x squared is 2x minus minus 6. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So, our second derivative is uh, 6x minus 6. Okay. So, we will test now. So, for each of the point, so we will substitute x okay, in the second derivative. And if it is, if the value of the second derivative is, what was that earlier? So, if it's greater than 0, meaning it's a minima, and if it's less than 0, it's maxima. So, at first, at x is equal to 1. So, our d squared y over dx squared is equal to 6. Sorry, it's at x is equal to negative 1. Okay, 6 times negative 1 minus 6. Okay, so therefore, it's negative 12. Okay, so since this is less than 0, so since the value of the second derivative is less than 0, then x is equal to 1, negative 1 is maximum or maxima. Okay? So, another, so let's solve it on the vacant space here. So, another is at uh, x is equal to, so what's the other value for x that we solved earlier? x is equal to 3. So, at x is equal to 3, so d squared y over dx squared is equal to you have 6x minus 6, so 6 times 3 minus 6, so that is 18 minus 6, so that will be 12, okay? So, since that is greater than 0, is greater than 0, then uh, x equal to 3 is our minima. Okay. So, since we are looking for the points, then we will solve y at x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 3. So, at x is equal to negative 1, so let's recall that was x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 20. So, y is equal to, what was that? x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 20. So, we have y is equal to negative 1 cubed minus 3 times negative 1 squared minus 9 times negative 1 plus 20. So, y is equal to, that would be, negative 1 minus 3 that is negative 4 plus 9 that is 5 plus 20 that is 25 okay so another so at uh, x is equal to 3 substituting here so we have y is equal to uh, 3 squared minus 3 times, oh sorry, 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 squared minus 9 times 3 plus 20. So that is 27 minus 27. So 0 minus 27 plus 20. So that is negative 7. Okay. So therefore, the points are. So, for maxima, for maxima, we have uh, x is equal to negative 1. So, negative 1, 25. For minima, we have, we have uh, 3, negative 7. So, 
that's it. Okay, so so that's how you find the local maxima and minima. Okay, so perform first, setting the derivative is equal uh, to zero, and then once you find the points. Okay, so use the second derivative test to determine whether the point you have solved is a maxima or a minima. And obviously, since we are looking for the point, you will also have to find the y coordinates. Okay, so these are the pairs. So x equal to negative 1 is 25. And it's at x equal to negative 1, there it's a maxima. Therefore, our maxima is at point negative 1, 25. And then similar with the minima. We need to proceed to the next example. So we have, um, let's, sorry. Okay, so let's see how uh, this looks. Okay, so the beauty of differential calculus is that um, without graphing, okay, so we know that uh, this is our maximum and minimum point. So therefore, uh, if we graph this, okay, so we have negative 1, 25, okay. So if we graph this, so it will look like um, this. So say for example, we have here our uh, maxima is at negative one. So this is y and x. So negative one. So let's say our twenty-five is here, and then we have positive three, negative seven. So let's say our minima is here. So uh, we can have the general. What do you call this? Um, the we, we can have a a guess okay so of how uh, the graph of this function looks okay so we have maximum pin point here and minimum point here so therefore since that is a maximum point so therefore the curve must be like this okay so this is uh, negative 1 25 and then this is uh, sorry, 3 and negative 7. Okay? That's it. Okay, so for our next example, so still locating the critical points and then determining whether the point is a maxima or a minima. So we have y is equal to x squared times x minus 2 squared. Okay, so to locate the critical points, so again, set the derivative to zero so finding the derivative of this so for this we'll be using uh, the product rule so for x squared and x minus 2 squared so dy over dx is equal to x squared so multiplied by the derivative of x minus 2 squared so using the general power formula so it will be 2 times x minus 2 raised to 2 minus 1 times derivative of x minus 2 with respect to x that is 1 plus 1 minus 0, so 1. Okay, and then uh, plus so x minus 2 squared multiplied by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Simplifying this, so this will become uh, 2x squared times x minus 2 plus 2x and then x minus 2 squared okay so it's equal to 0 so as you can see we have we have a common factor of 2 so we can, we can eliminate the numerical coefficient So, although x is also, we have to take note that uh, although x is also a common factor, so we will not remove it because it will also remove one root. Okay, so we only uh, simplify co numerical coefficients. Okay, we will not include the variable. So, this will become uh, x squared times x minus 2 plus x times x minus 2 squared is equal to 0. 
Okay, so now solving for x. So we can factor. Okay, so we can factor. So factoring x and x minus 2. So what will remain here? If we factor if we factor out x and x minus 2, so what will remain there is x plus so if you factor out x minus uh, x times x minus 2, so what will remain here is x minus 2. Okay, is equal to 0. So therefore, now we'll have x times x minus 2 times 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So equating all the factors into uh, to 0, so we will have x is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, and 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So here we have one root, x is equal to 0. Here we will have x is equal to 2. And here, transposing that, we will have 2x is equal to 2. Dividing both sides by 2, we will have x is equal to 1. So, therefore, we have um, three points. Okay? So, we have three points. So solving for y, not for each. So, we have here the equation. So, at x is equal to 0. So, again, we have y is equal to x squared times x minus 2 squared. So, substituting, so we will have um, 0 squared times 0 minus 2 squared. So, that is 0. Okay, at x is equal to positive 2, so we will have uh, y is equal to 2 squared times 2 minus 2 squared. So, this is 0 times 4, so we will have... 0. And then, at x is equal to 1, we have y is equal to 1 squared times 1 minus 2 squared. So, we'll have 1. Okay, so the points are so we have 0 0, 0, 2, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, but we don't know if those are maximum points or minimum points. So, what we have to do is we perform a second derivative test. So let's copy first the first derivative. So dy over dx is equal to where's our first derivative? This one. But without the divided by 2. So we'll have um, 2x squared times x minus 2 plus 2x times x minus 2 squared. So that is our first derivative. Actually we can still factor it, so factoring uh, 2x and x minus 2. If we do that, uh, it's still difficult to, to differentiate. So, let's just differentiate this as it is. So, dy, uh, d squared y over dx squared is equal to, so deriving this, so you have a numerical coefficient of 2. Product formula of this is we have x squared multiplied by derivative of x minus 2, that is 1, plus x minus 2, derivative of uh, x squared is 2x. Okay, plus, again, we have a numerical coefficient of 2, so write that outside, and then just get the derivative of x times x minus 2 squared. So, x times power formula of this, so we'll have 2 times 
x minus 2 raised to 2 minus 1 times derivative of x minus 2 that is 1 plus x minus 2 squared multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x so that is 1 Okay, so simplifying, so we'll have 2 um, multiplied by x squared plus 2x times x minus 2 okay, plus um, 2, so this will become 2x times x minus 2 plus x minus 2 squared, so we can... Distribute. Simplify it further. So we have 2x squared plus 4x times x minus 2 plus we'll have 4x times x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 squared. So I think that form is already okay. Okay. So um, getting the points okay, so we already have the points so all we need to do is test them sorry that's not it so these points, these three points okay so test uh, testing at 0 0, so that means at x is equal to 0 so our d squared y over dx squared is equal to we have 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 times 0 minus 2 plus 4 times 0. So actually we can uh, could have simplified this. Okay, so it should be 8x times x minus 2. So what? Oh well. So we're already here. So um, plus 2 times. Uh, 0 minus 2 squared. So this is 0, 0, 0, and then this will be 2 times 4. So 2 times 4, that is positive. Ah, oh sorry, positive 8. Okay, so it's greater than 0. Therefore, this point, so therefore, this point is. A minimum point. Okay. Okay, so next is at so what's another point? So at two zero. So uh, this will simplify this as so again we will combine this. This is uh, 8x times x minus 2. So, d squared y over dx squared is equal to so 2 over x is 2 plus we have 8 times 2 times 2 minus 2 plus 2 times 2 minus 2 squared. So this is 0, it's also 0, this is 2 times 4, this is also 8, okay, which is still greater than 0, therefore, 2, 0 is also a minima. Okay, so last point, so at, uh, what's the last point? We have this one. 1 1 okay so at 1 1 so d squared y over dx squared is equal to we have 2 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 times 1 minus 2 plus 2 times 1 minus 2 squared So, this is 2 
plus 2. And this is negative 8. So, negative 4. Okay, so it's less than 0. So, therefore, 1, 1 is maxima. Okay? So, therefore, if we summarize our answer, answer, so we have minimum points at 0, 0, and 2, 0. And, okay, sorry. So, and then maxima is at 1, 1. Okay, so this is our um, answer. Okay, so uh, let me add this. So, how will the uh, graph of this function look? So, minima is at 0, 0, and 2, 0, and then maxima is at 1, 1. So, say for example, this is our uh, x and y. Okay. So, the minima is at the origin and at 2, 0. So, this is 1, this is 2. Okay, and then our maxima is at 1, 1. So, let's say it's here. Okay. So, since th these are minimum points, so therefore, uh, the curve will look like this. Okay. So, where this is y is equal to x squared times x minus 2 squared. Okay, so this is 0, 0, 2, 0, and this is maxima 1, 1.